In this video, I'm going to show you how to keep a prototype steady for soldering on a smooth surface. I will start with a perf board, the common go-to for many DIY electronic projects. Next, I place an ESP32 module on the perf board. This could be any component. I use the ESP32 because it was handy. Now we place it on a smooth surface and see how stable it is. It practically sticks to the cold soldering iron and is impossible to keep steady. Now I will try a rubber band. No good, it's still too light. I'll try the traditional go-to, the helping hand. I place the board in the grip of the helping hand. I test the stability with the cold soldering iron. It's better, but still slips too easily. So I try a rubber band with the helping hand. It's difficult to get the rubber band to lay flat on such a small base. Really difficult. The base is just too small. I need more mass and a wider base. Before I show you the two solutions, please take a second to subscribe. Time to hit the books. One rubber band. Another rubber band. That stabilized one axis. The rubber bands still roll though, so the other axis needs more stabilization. One more rubber band perpendicular to the first two. A little crisscross action to spread the contact points as wide as possible, and that's a lot more stable. I use the rubber bands to hold the board in place. Solder won't move it. The iron won't move it. If the components on the board are not as flat as an ESP32, there is one more option. We can use the book and rubber bands to hold down the helping hand, which gives more options for the positioning of the board. Thanks for watching.